Hey guys, what is up? So I'm starting another video in the car while I'm driving, which I know I always do, but hey, if I'm starting a video, that's fine because I want to get more content out. But I just had my first midwife appointment. It was just like a consultation. So she didn't like confirm my pregnancy or anything. She doesn't do ultrasounds in her office, unfortunately. So I am gonna have to schedule uh, an ultrasound like outside of her office. So I'll probably roll that into this video once I get it. But um, I just wanted to kind of talk about the midwife and about home birth because that's like really exciting. I'm gonna have a home birth this time. I already like signed into care with this midwife so um, yeah I have another appointment like an actual baby appointment scheduled with her for the 23rd this video might be posted after that um, so I'm not quite sure but yeah I'm gonna get an ultrasound within the next week or so so that way we have like a proper date and stuff whenever I do my first appointment um, but she's really cool, she's sweet, and she's really cute. So I'm excited to work with her. And um, we just basically, she gave me the rundown of what kind of appointments we're gonna have, like what's gonna be at my house and what's gonna be at her office. Um, she does appointments at my house, so that way she knows how to get there whenever um, I'm gonna have a home birth. Um, which is good because no one can ever find my house because it's like new construction. No, but nobody can find it We've tried door dashing stuff a few times since we've moved in and Literally not a single person has found it. I have to like go get the stuff so um, I'm happy that she'll be there at least a couple times. It's really bumpy on this road. Maybe I'll talk about this later I'm gonna drive now and I'll continue this later or maybe I'll continue it when I get my ultrasound and then I'll talk more about my birth plan, so. Okay, bye. All right, guys, so I'm planning to like extend my other part of this video with this ultrasound, but I am so excited. Daddy. Daddy wants out. Um, so I'll get through this. Um, I'm getting my ultrasound today. It's at a cash pay place, so I should be able to record it. Hey guys, so this is kind of an unfortunate update um, in this video. It's kind of taking a turn because I was so excited about like our ultrasound and all of that. So um, basically, I'm gonna say this first before I even get into this. Um, I posted my finding out I was pregnant video like uh, last week on a Thursday. I guess or two weeks ago on a Thursday and then um, I had my ultrasound not the Tuesday after but another week later so like a week and a half later um, so I don't want anyone to come on here and say that I'm doing this for clout because this is just it's not the time and I have a feeling that people are gonna think that or say that um, and it's just not true so I had my ultrasound this week. The other previous clips, um, the one of me meeting my midwife was a few weeks ago. And then the clip from the ultrasound was Tuesday of this week. It's now Friday. Um, and when I went into my ultrasound, um, I didn't film it because it was very short um, because the ultrasound tech could not find a heartbeat. Um, he did measure and say that the baby was measuring accurately. Um, I was nine weeks according to my last period and he said that the baby is measuring nine weeks um, but there was no heartbeat present. So we're still holding out a little bit of hope because my midwife said to wait another week and get a follow-up ultrasound. So we're holding out a little bit of hope but at nine weeks a heartbeat should definitely be visible. So as of right now, we're having a miscarriage and most likely not going to have this baby. Um, I will update if the next ultrasound goes well. I'll probably update that right away. Um, but if it doesn't go well, I don't think I will be updating until I'm ready. 
I do plan on kind of making a more in-depth video about miscarriage and pregnancy loss. Um, I just don't know how to go about that yet. You know, it's still really fresh. So I'm trying not to get emotional. Today's actually the first day I've like gotten up and gotten ready because Aaron had to go take his CDL test today. So um, I decided to actually put myself together because I spent the past four days crying and laying on the couch. Um, so yeah, so that's really uh, the only update we have. This video is going to be pretty hard for me to edit because I think I'm still going to edit it like as it happened in real time because, you know, that's my real life. That's what's happening to me right now. And that is what happens when people have a missed miscarriage. That's what it is. Um, the baby, like, didn't develop properly and I didn't find out until I had my first ultrasound you know like we had positive pregnancy tests all the symptoms the morning sickness the you know the tiredness um sorry my dog is crying <laughs> um but yeah I had all the symptoms everything felt normal like I would have no reason to believe that anything was wrong until we got the ultrasound so um, yeah, I've definitely been looking into like mis miscarriage a lot recently because I didn't even know anything about it. Um, it's something that happens to like one in four people, I, either one in four or one in five pregnancies end in miscarriage. Um, so like it happens so often you don't, there's honestly no like videos on YouTube and I can understand why because it's hard and it's sad. Sorry, I had to let my dog out of the room because she was crying to get up. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, losing a pregnancy, losing a child, something that everybody thinks is not going to happen to them. And it is really unfortunate that it happens to so many people. So I hope to make a um, follow-up video, like whether we can get, like, the baby has a heartbeat the next time we go into an ultrasound or if they don't, um, you know, it... I don't know what's going to happen. So, unfortunately, as of right now, it looks like we're going to lose this pregnancy. Um, but we still have a tiny bit of hope for our uh, ultrasound next week. So, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for, I mean, following along on my journey and supporting my channel. So, yeah, I'll get back with you in a couple weeks probably. All right, bye guys.